We've been using outlets, magazines, Twitter, any outlet we can find, TV, to just keep people aware of the danger of HIV and AIDS and the importance of, be, of protecting yourself and, and also trying to update them on the stats that they may not know. This campaign has always stood out because they always pick amazing people. They always pick very unique people, not the typical uh, superstar or singer, or, you know. They pick people that kind of um, are eccentric, diverse, kooky, sometimes weird and crazy. And I think that it allows um, us to reach more of a diverse um, fan base because the proceeds always go to the actual fund, it makes it more powerful, you know, it makes people feel like every time I buy this little thing here, I'm helping to save a life. So this one obviously will always stand out from the rest. I hope to achieve more great stats. Um, my MAC lipstick was the number one selling MAC Viva Glam lipstick of all time. And I want to thank my Barb's. I, 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 Barb's, I am so proud of you guys. I think when I first started, what resonated was just that raw truth, that authentic girl from Southside Jamaica, Queens, New York, um, that I never curved my tongue. Like, I just said what I, what I wanted to say. And I think girls were like, whoa, you know, and they kind of really attached themselves to me. And then we just started building and building and building. And I think, you know, the people that don't know that side of me, they probably just know, you know, the costumes and the hair and all that craziness. But, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm really excited about this new album we're putting out on November 19th. It's the re-up, and I feel like it meshes my mixtape, my mixtape era and my first album era so perfectly. And I'm just really excited for people to hear that. And I think that the, the tone of this new album is where Nicki Minaj will be going for the third album.